Another way to get a drag free drift across stream or downstream is to do what we call a bucket cast. There you go. Very similar to the snap cast, but a little bit more aggressive. All I did there is I threw a pile of slack into that current there. And the fly was on the opposite side of the current. So the fly was able to float down. There you go. Right bucket pile of slack there. But the fly is floating downstream naturally. Now to make the bucket cast, you're going to make the stop of the rod and then you're going to lift up, drop the rod back down again and put a pile of slack into an area the size of a bucket. Okay, let me show you that again. It's like a snap cast. There you go, a pile of slack right in that current to get a drag free drift of that fly there. It's called the bucket cast. It's quite hard to do. If you overpower it and do that, it brings the fly over there. If you don't do it enough, the fly skates straight away like that. You've got to kind of get it right, put the right amount of engine, energy in. There you go, a nice bucket cast. Now you can change where you put the slack in. If you do the rod up and down movement straight away, you can put more slack towards the fly. If you do it later, We've got a strong current here. I can put the slack near my feet. Make the cast and then do it later. There you go, drag free drift. So where you place the rod up and down movement depends where the current is and what currents you need to overcome. Great cast, the bucket cast.